In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a request a code button in WooCommerce. Without wasting further time, let's get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial. To get started, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. Under search plugins, I search for WooCommerce request a code. There are several of them, but this is a very plugin I'm going to use. LX WooCommerce request a code. I click on install now. Then I go ahead and activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Now if I go to the front end of my website, scrolling down, you see that I have a request a code button on my products. Now if I scroll up, on top right here you see that i have a link which is now part of my menu and you can find it on the secondary menu as well now i'm going to go ahead and open my website in a new private window scrolling down i can add this product to quote this one as well this and that and you see that the button has now turned to view quote list so i can easily click on the button to take me to the quote list page or i can come over here and click on the link right here to take me to the same page so right here i have all the products i can equally go ahead and increase the quantity from here and update my list awesome going down this is where i fill in my details then i go ahead and send the request so quickly i enter in my details then i click on send request quote received your request has been submitted as an administrator, I'll receive a message with regard to the request and the client will also receive a message with regards to the request. I can also access the request from the back end of my website. So I go to the back end of my website, then I hover on WooCommerce, click on orders. I have the request right here. You see that quote requested. I just go ahead and click on it. From here, I can edit every single product right here. For instance, if I want to give the client a discount, maybe on this product, I'll just click on the edit icon. Instead of $150, I can say $145. Take note, at the moment, the total is $690. Now, if I click on save, you see that the order total is now $685. As a result of this five dollars coupon or discount so assuming everything is set i scroll up under status i drop down the arrow i'll go ahead and approve the code if there's a situation you don't want to approve the code you can equally go ahead and reject the code for this demonstration i'm going to go ahead and approve the code then i click on update now let me log into my email as a customer and see what happens I have a new email right here, which is quote approved. This is the first one, quote received. So let me go ahead and open the one with the approval and you see everything right here. Right here, I have the discount, which is $5 and my order total is $685. So if I'm comfortable with the quotation, I'll just go ahead and accept and pay. I'm going to go ahead and open this in a new private window. So it will take me to the checkout page. Going down, everything is set. The payment gateway is set to cash on delivery. You can use whatever payment gateway you want. I go ahead and click on pay for order. Thank you, your order has been received. So we have seen how you can add a request a code button to your online store and also saw how the client can request for a code and finally, go through with the order if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue now let's see some additional settings before we do that first of all let's take a look at the code list page so this is how it looks like let's see how we can further customize the page and also perform some additional settings so if I go back to the back end of my website, then I go ahead and hover on request a code. I click on settings. From here under general settings, you can disable the quote button from the shop page 
or you can also disable it from the product page if we go over to a single product let me just go to the store and i view this product you see that the request a code button is right here we are seeing view code list as a result of the product i've added to code maybe i can easily change to a different product all right this one where we still have add to code so this is how the button will look like this is the product page and then if i go here this is the shop page so let's see how we can set them up now if i disable this and that going down click on save changes then i go over to the single product page and refresh you see that the button is gone similarly if i go to the shop page and refresh the button is gone so this is how you can turn them off if you don't need any of them but i need both so i'll just go ahead and enable them next we have open code form you can decide to open it in a new page or in a light box at the moment it is being set to page let's see how it will appear in a light box mode going down i save the changes now if i go over to the shop page and refresh to get the buttons back now if i try to view code list you see that it's in a form of a light box you see the actual page behind and you see the code list on top so this is how it will look like I can exit it and you see that this is empty and it will take me back to the shop page awesome so whichever way you want i will leave it as in a page going down you can customize the how to code success alert message from here next is code button customization if you want to change the text on the button this is where you can do that at the moment it is set to add to code you can change it to request a code like this if you want to change the default color this is where you can do that so let's see maybe i want something like red like this next we have filter products this is where you can include products that you want users to be able to add to codes so if i enable this you can include products by category so here if i try to search For instance, men, I have the men or women category. If I click on men, it means that it is only products which are in this category can be added to the code. You can also include products by name as well as product by tax. I don't really need this, so I'll just go ahead and toggle it off. The rest of the features, exclude product, role-based filter, disable code request for unregistered users, and then include or exclude product based on stock are part of the premium version of the plugin so if you want to unlock these features you need to get the pro version of the plugin i'll leave a link to that in the description down below i'll go ahead and click on save changes to save the changes i've made so here i have request a code which is a change i've made as well as this color so if i go to the shop page and refresh you see that i now have this red color as my button color going down instead of add to code i now have request a code i think it should be a request a code not request to code so here should be a save it going back i refresh the page and i have request a code awesome going back let's go over to hide add to cart and price this feature right here will enable you to put your woocommerce store into a catalog mode so if you don't want users to have access to the price this is where you can enable it you can also hide the add to cart button on the shop page as well as on the product page the rest of the features are part of the pro version of the plugin let's save the changes and see how it will come up now if i go to the front end and refresh see that i don't have the title and then the add to cart button so users can only request for a code on my website at this moment going back i actually want to see these buttons i save the changes again next let's go over to notification settings this is where you can set your email address where you want your request to go to we also have other statuses to notify customers we have code requested quote rejected as well as 
code approved so these are the various three emails users may get from your website when they try to request a code we also have sms notification where you can send them sms alerts upon request so with this you need to partner with sms service provider we are not going there you can also use google chat notification next we have template settings this is where you can customize the email templates for your request a quote we also have quote list menu now if i enable this then i save the changes if i go to the front end and refresh we have this icon right here which will indicate the number of products you have added to your code at the moment i have two products i've added to code now if i hover on it you see a visual of the two products from here you can click on view code list in order to take you to the request a code page so if you want your users to have a visual of the product you have added to code this is how you can enable that going back next we have code list icon type at the moment it is set to float you can also choose fixed let's see how fixed will come up upon choosing fix you can also show button label next to icon and this is how it will look like let's save the changes going back to the front end we refresh scrolling up we have the button right here so it will be fixed at the top part of your page going back i think the float is cool so i'll stick to float then i go ahead and save the changes now if you go over to the code list page this is how it looks like at the moment going back to settings i'm going to go ahead and customize the code list form so i click on it at the moment this is how our page is looking like you see the list of the product on top and the form at the bottom we can also choose this format so that the product and the form will be side by side the rest of the features are in the pro version one thing you can also do away with is powered by lx request a code so i can turn this off then i go ahead and save the changes if i go to the front end you see it right here now if i refresh we see that we have the code list and the form side by side and the powered by lx is gone going back we can go over to additional options let's see what we have there we have show update list button clear list button add more items button as well as add more items button label so these are all the features there add more items button clear list button and then update list button so if you want to hide them you just go ahead and toggle them off then you save the changes going back let's refresh and take a look and you see that all the buttons are gone but i think it will be cool to have them so i'll just go ahead and enable them then i click on save changes finally we have code form at the moment we have four fields on the request a code form if there's an additional information you want to add you can go ahead and do that from here so this is where you can add a new field to the request a code form so in here you enter the title the field type placeholder then you can connect it to whichever field you want then go ahead and save the changes i'm not really going to do this so that's it on how you can add a request a code button in woocommerce now if you want to convert your online store into a catalog mode stick around to watch this video on your screen right now keep watching and i'll see you there